Let me be blunt. California is on fire. Smoke is blanketing the entire western part of the United States, and a good dose of it was here yesterday. California's traditional fire season has only just started, but five of California's largest fires in history have occurred this year. As I speak, 25 major fires are burning across nearly 2. million acres statewide. 25 Californians have died in these fires, 4,200 homes and structures have been destroyed, and more than 42,000 people have been evacuated. I think we have 90 pieces of equipment in the state today from other states. The largest fire in state history is now burning in the Mendocino National Forest. It's 875,000 acres. All told, 3.2 million have burned so far this year, the most in state history. And the same is happening across the West. 350,000 fires, as you pointed out, Senator Wyden in Oregon, displacing more than 10% of your population. 300,000 acres have burned in Washington, 150,000 in Montana, and 100,000 in Colorado. We have to change our approach in dealing with wildfire and how we manage our forests. We can't just sit here and do nothing. Just as an aside, lightning is the source of this huge, these huge fires. And I've kind of decided I'm going to make lightning a pursuit and see what I can learn about it, what we might be able to do about it, if anything because every year it becomes more and more a source of major fire in the state. That's why Senator Daines and I worked for months to draft the bipartisan <clears throat> Emergency Wildfire and Public Safety Act to make some important changes that will help us cope with catastrophic wildfire. Our bill has the endorsement of California Governor Gavin Newsom dozens of cities and counties in California, and numerous conservation organizations, fire districts, and utilities. And I would ask that a list of endorsers be placed in the hearing record, if I might. I'd like Without to Without objection. Just, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like briefly just to explain three key provisions of the bill. We have to address the dead and dying trees in our forests that provide fuel for these disasters. There are more than 150 million dead trees in California's forests, the result of drought, bark beetle populations that thrive in warmer temperatures. Our bill creates a $100 million grant program and provides other incentives to help make harvesting dead trees more commercially viable incentivizing businesses to step in and reduce the fuel load in our forests. Secondly, we need to increase the use of fire breaks and prescribed burns. Much like removing dead trees, fire breaks help slow fires and limit their spread. Our bill would allow for expedited environmental reviews regarding the installation of fire breaks near existing roads, trails, transmission lines, and pipelines. The bill also requires the fire service to consult with the Fish and Wildlife Service when new peer-reviewed research shows that a project could harm threatened or endangered species. As Senator Wyden has noticed, we must also increase the use of prescribed burns that help prevent forests from becoming overgrown and more susceptible to unstoppable fires. Our bill establishes a new prescribed fire center to coordinate research and training of foresters and forest managers in best practices. And third, we need to do more to help improve resiliency in fire-prone communities. Our bill expands a key program to aid the retrofit of homes with fireproofing materials to prevent the leveling 
of entire neighborhoods, as we saw in Paradise, California in 2018. I went up there, and I've never seen anything like it. When you see the expanse of fire, and how the wind moves fire, and how it'll catch one block in rural areas, and then skip a block, and then the next block, and wipe out half of a commercial area. That's what happened in one of this, these huge fires in Paradise in 2018. We also promote the undergrounding of utility wires to prevent wildfires and, and the development of distributed energy, such as microgrids, to mitigate the impact of power shutoffs. Yes, climate change is making these fires worse by the year, and we've got to address it. Our bill takes aim at the direct, most immediate causes of this unprecedented series of wildfires, and I hope this committee will see fit to act swiftly to approve it for consideration by the full Senate. So, Mr. Chairman and members, thank you so much.